Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nips. I'm the Countess, and I have got a bunch of cool stuff to show you today. We're doing ink swatchy time. These are all bottles that I, I've either gotten in um, the last two weeks or the last two years <laughs> that I've never gotten around to swatching. So I'm going to do that for all of you today. Uh, we got naked nails because they need a break. Um, so... But you know, it's fitting. It's fitting that the nails look creepy and gross because we got some creepy inks to go over. Yeah. Spoiler, the spookiest of them, Robert Oster Blood Moon, Pannonia, oh, this is the Dracula, and this is the Strigoi, and we got, and what's another spooky one? This Lucifer from Tono and Limbs. Um, we got a COVID ink, that is very spooky. Um, we got a gray that's kind of pink. That's spooky. Oh, it's a, it's a dual shader. It's not going to show up. That's going to be the spooky part. Um, got Sailor 252. We got Swan Illusion Plume and Metamorphosis Web Gray. So, yeah, we got spiders. We got the devil. We got blood moons. We got vampires. We got vampire adjacent creatures. We got ash. We got ash from last year's ink vent. Hype. Super dope. We love that. All right. That's the overview. <coughs> um, spoilers. <laughs> By the way. All right. Coloring cards. Okay. Okay. We got those. Well, what am I going to start with? Um, hmm. Do I go in like order of when I got them? Go person by person? Do I do? I want to do like the spooky ones at the end. I need, I need to give myself something to look forward to. We are going to start with Ash. This was present from Amanda. Oh, by the way, uh, Moon Man, N6, Glass Nib. Oh, I can't, I can't take off the cap really cool. Um, we got Chippo uh, Michaels brushes. We got some water. I've got this, ooh, ooh. I got this hair on the page. I have this, it's like a Moleskine. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's just, it's gray notebook, says Moleskine. And it's good for doing these swatches on. Um, and I also have book. Whoa, whoa. I also have it way overexposed. Anyway, uh, we got Tomoe River on the right and Midori MD Cotton on the left. Breathe, child. All right. So here we go. I gotta turn my back up, please. Is that okay? Is that too blinding? I hope it's not blinding. I like it if people have their eyesight. <coughs> okay. All right. Don't fuck this up. I'm usually swatching from a bunch of samples. It's not even a big deal if I like knock one of them onto the ground. Um, these are bottles, and that might be bad. All right, we're going to zoom. All right, we're going to write. Okay. Oh, that looks so bad. Take it easy. No rush. There's no reason to rush through this. Nobody wants you to rush. Okay? Okay. Playback speed option is there for you. I debated putting like ink fan on it, but whatever. If you look up diamine ash, this is gonna this is what's gonna come up. It's no big deal. Uh, do this brush in particular. I don't know why, but that's what we're going with. Ooh, got a bit, got a bit. Thirsty brush. Swatch tip. You don't want the brush wet. You just want it thirsty. You gotta give it a taste of water and take it away. This is very green. At least when it's wet, it reminds me a tremendous amount of diamond graphite, but not as dark. Spooky, spooky. Cool. All right, I'm going to do my other swatches. Um, look at this card, and I will continue recording. All right. Yep. Very, very green gray. I mean, of course, it's still wet, but 
Oh, it's coming up more green on camera. It's not that green, but it's green. Ugh. Next. It looks very much not green on this label on top. I don't understand. This ink is going to be weird. Maybe it's going to dry nice. It's probably going to dry nice. That's what's expected. Next, Birmingham Armadillo. Warning, this will not show up correctly at all, ever, for any reason. It's not that common. It's great. I don't know why I'm even swatching this on camera, but I want these swatches in the same place. So I'm going to do it. Paper towel. Here we go. Bing, bang, boom. So how are you? What's, what's you been up to? What's new in your pen life? I have got a tremendous amount of new things that I'm very excited to show you, and um, yeah, just for first impressions, I have video content for like a month. <laughs> um, it's it's very good. Some of the things are like like a big deal, like an actual big deal. Cannot wait for you to know if you don't already. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm not mad. I gotta not bump the mic with my chin. Both kind and smart. Did we do any inversions? You don't have to. This doesn't have any particular in it. It's not gonna like separate. Just in case. Just take a couple. I wanna shake it. Just invert it a couple times. So you do when you draw somebody's blood. Fun fact. To mix the components that come in the little vacuum tube. I was so good at that. <laughs> I, <laughs> that sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. I was like, I was a really good stick, but they didn't hire me out of school because I couldn't drive. And you can't just like get a job in a lab. No, you have to do like runs to nursing homes and stuff. And I was like, ah, why? But like, I'm amazing. Everybody loves me. I was just like an intern, but people like asked for me to do it. So good at finding veins. Oh, these are gonna mix. Oh no. Oh no, they kind of mixed. Shit. Hold up, I have to destroy the ridge between them. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just gonna look extra pretty now. Like, don't even worry about it. A okay. Was talking, recorded through the part that I wanted to keep cutting out, but here we go. <laughs> nope, that <laughs> nope, nope. I don't even think there's anything I can do to show you what color this actually. It's so fucking pretty though. Like, you don't even know. You don't unless you have it. Ugh. Super good, amazing Birmingham dual shader. Next, ooh, in the box. Let's wait and tide until his curiosity. Stop. Sailor Studio 252. I'm also not expecting this to show up properly, but whatever. whatever. You're here to watch me have fun with ink and get excited about things, you know? I'm not here for the content, you're obviously here for me. Duh, that's not conceited, it's true. Get with me. Anyway. I'm in some type of <laughs> some type of mood. Either my depression has lifted or I've just gone insane. Um, but yeah, that's that's a thing that's happened. Does that ever happen to you? You get really sad and then you like stop being sad but you're suspicious about it? You're like mm. My 
pen got stuck. The two isn't as good as I wanted. These colorings are toothier because of uh, paper supply chain issues. Not bad, of course. They're still they're still good coloring cards. They just got a little more tooth than usual. Same paper, NBD. Shit happens. COVID took like a big hit on like paper companies and stationary supply people because like nobody was using paper except for like hobbyists at home. Like people didn't use paper for work, everything was done electronically. So like it hurts. It hurts that we're having problems with the, these incredible wood pulp creations that we have been blessed to try. That's showing up kind of right. I don't know why the light keeps being rude. Stop bumping. Okay. No, I'm... I do this all the time. I'm talking and I forgot to do the other swatches. Whew, okay. Did it, we're good. Crisis averted. I'll do my best to avoid that in future. That's real pretty. That's real pretty. Exciting. Oh, like a nice dusty move. We did that. We did that a lot. Oh, let's just put in color. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Next. Let's sort these, organize them by yes and no. Over there. Okay, those are last. And then over there. Okay. Next. I feel like this will look better on the page. Metamorphosis Web Gray. Did I lament the fact that most of these are inks you can't get anymore? Maybe we'll do like a comparisons thing. If you see any here um, that you want to know more about, I would be happy to do that for you. It's, it's free content that I don't have to rack my brain about what people would see. And I am a chronic pleaser. I love these bottles. Super fabulous. I cannot believe I never so much these. These are from I think both the mom blocks are from Pickwick Turtle. I know Swan is. Do I put the whole name? I'll just put Web Gray. Oh, that always feels so good. I don't even, I don't really care about the printing. That can be as messy as I want. <gasps> ah, all right, like, <sighs> out of breath, too much coffee. If that's a thing that you believe in. <laughs> I don't. My body disagrees. Jitter AF, whatever, it's cool. This is also real pretty. All these grays are coming out looking like, kind of like purple before they dry. That's cute. It's very cute. All right, here we go. Oh, web gray. Let me see that. Right, it's nice. It's nice, like it's like warm leaning neutral gray. It's very pretty. It's fabulous. They probably have it under a different name. I'm already selling it anyway, because they do that all the time. Mont Blanc. Come on. Whoa. Anyway. 
Let's not break shit. Oh, did you hear that spin of that cap on the bottle? That was hot. Um, yeah. I mean, apparently Diamond's been doing that too. Just, uh, just barely modifying an existing ink. They already have twice already and putting it in their $90 calendar. <laughs> anyway. I'm not gonna bother. This says taupe. Taupe gray. It's very, very pretty. I love it. What? Look at that. Look at that already. Humba dumbo dumbo dumbo. Hell yeah. Stick nerd. Love it. Back. I'm just like throwing things. It's fine. Get her done. Can I fit Swan Illusion Plume? It's like Swan Illusion, comma Plume because Plume is tiny. And I'm gonna put Swan Illusion. It makes me think of Black Swan. I was obsessed with that movie. I saw it 10 times in theaters, not even exaggerating. I don't know why I think I can put it on one leg. I should separate that better. Okay, okay, I see you, running hand. I see you. I'm trying to get better at this. Gotta really work on my letter spacing. That's like my biggest issue. And writing in a straight line. Kind of. Oh, it's really light taupe. It's like a kind of grayish brown. Very pretty. Can't wait to see it when it's dry. Um, for those of you wondering if it's anything like Cream of Earl, yes, but better. Um, maybe without as much pink. It's looking kind of pinky on this Tomoe River, but. I think it's more a uh, sibling than a twin. Oh, it's next. Oh, I definitely want to see what this looks like next to it. This is Tone One Lim's Uriel. I don't remember what the collection's called. Um, fixations? Maybe? Um, so this is the brown one, this is Uriel, and this is the purple one, Lucifer. There's a pink one named Ariel that I was gonna buy a while ago, and I didn't, and I regret it because you can't find it now. So, I don't know about discontinued, but it's currently sold out everywhere. I love these caps, these like pink caps, it's very cute. And that like kind of creepy child's handwriting. I love, I love that they have a, an ink called Lucifer, and it's not, like, edgy in the traditional sense. Dust on this bottle. It was in the box. How did you get dust on it? Um, these are waterproof. Um, in case you're curious. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, is that how light that is?
can't do it in the mouth. Okay, nope, that didn't, nope, it's just that light. Um, now you can kind of see that something's on the page. <laughs> you won't be able to see the color. But I guess this would be great if you like want to do like your initial sketch in fountain pen, but you don't want to... Um, you know, do like a strong sketch beforehand. Yeah, I think this would make a good, a really good sketch ink. It's really light and really watery. Oh my god. Okay, this is, if the other one was like a cream of earl but legible, this one is like cream of earl but less legible. It's pretty though. Oh, I didn't do the other ones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo. <clears throat> do you see that? There's like little specks of pigment all throughout it. There's like a cluster of it over there before, but now it's over here. Can you, can you see that? Like, there's, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know if it's the paper. I don't know if it's the way I did the swatch. It's starting to look that way on on the Midori a little bit on the Tomoe River. Like that's that is cool. That is cool. Cool. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Love that. Wash brush. Whoa. It stained my brush. <laughs> That's so funny. I never thought an ink this pale would stain my brush. It's not bad. It's not like there's still paint coming off of it. I could use it for the next one without problem. But there's like nothing on the bottom. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know if this one's gonna do it. That's pretty dope though. Tono and Lens Lucifer. It's also really light. <laughs> yeah, that is super light. That is super light. Oh, and these were from um, Fountain Friend Teen, along with a bunch of other cool stuff. Pretty new addition to the Nyango collection. A really awesome brush pen. I think I mentioned that. Um, <coughs> and that fabric has still sent you here. Yeah, yeah I was playing around with that a little bit. It is real fun. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. I keep it in the box because it feels really cool to like pull it out of the box every time I need it. Oh, this is, I think this is doing it too. <laughs> that did not want to leave the brush. That is fascinating. Can you see that? Those little specks all throughout it. That's so cool. That's really, really cool. That's like super dope. Okay, the way it's stained in my brush, kind of frightening. Look at that. I did like one big dip and now the whole brush is purple. How does it do that? <laughs> the stain is darker than the ink. Okay. 
Whatever. It's cool. It's fine. I can wash it anyway. I have three other brushes I could be using. Um, we're going to use this one again. This Colorverse Rising Reflections COVID-19 Memorial Ink. It's got like the Washington Monument on it. I don't know. I don't know. But it's really cool. See, that looks like gold shimmer. It's actually blue shimmer in gold ink. It's like iridescent, kind of like bluey, kind of green. It looks so cool in the bottle. But this ink is dope. Rising Reflections. Okay, I'm going to invert it again. I can. The streamer seems to want to settle really fast. Alright. Shit. Damn you, Colorverse. Broke my broke a nail on my bottle of shiny black ones. I got open it. I was very upset. They were like three times this long. I'm so proud. I made it. Oh, do you see that? No, you don't. You don't. Bummer. It's like flashing that shimmer color. It was so pretty. So pretty. Mm. Hey, whatever. Use this is fresh again. Why not? I'm not worried about it. frame we're overexposed i wish i could consistently get that right this is really good it's really good all right we're just, we'll just let that burst up a little bit. Eh. Whoa. Colorverse Rising Reflections. Can you see that shimmer in the writing? Um, oh. Nah, not really yet. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. You know what? I bet it won't show up. That's exactly what's going to happen. All right, cool. This was again from lovely Fountain Friendy. Oh. Fantastic artist too, like super dope. Where, where are these trading cards? This creature. I would, he's very friend-shaped, or they. I don't think this creature has a concept of gender. Uh, some dope-ass mushrooms. Hell yeah, super cool. Love that. Next. Oh, I gotta move this. Put it in its place. Oh, oh, I thought I was not recording. My bad. Uh, uh, here we have Robin Oster, Oster, Toaster, Foster, Blood Moon. This is a new one. 
I love it because it's called Blood Moon. And the Lunar Eclipse is one of my favorite celestial phenomena. It's really cool. And not just because of the video game Bloodborne. I think I like Bloodborne because I like Lunar Eclipses. You know what I mean? That B sucks, but the rest is okay. Also, that was a really big dip. I'll be interested to see this next to Rider's Blood. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're so light. But I can always see myself knocking over one of these bottles. Oh god. I'm just gonna knock over my whole everything. I think yeah. Yeah, I think I already like this Money Rider's one. It's not as like burgundy. This just seems like a really dark red. I need a spot. I'm just like smearing blood all over the paint. Love that. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's really good. Oh no, I got it on my finger. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I am super into this one. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. This might be the best darker red I have in my collection, just judging by this writing. Oh my god. And it's called Blood Moon. I love it, and it's called Blood Moon. This is very... Like, I love them separate of each other. <laughs> um, but that's a really good color. Oh, that's dope. I think I know what I'm going to put that in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a really, it's a really, uh, it's a, it's a pen you've seen before with a, a new nib, but really it's like a crown. It's, it's very cool. It's, it's super hype. I cannot wait to share that with you eventually. <coughs> Next. <gasps> hmm. I want to save the Rockulia for last, but I want to see it next to Blood Moon. This is a crisis. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I've decided. We will do Dracula first. Drac. Oh, I didn't even do the label on top. Speaking of labels on top, okay. <laughs> I have to admit, I have to admit, um, when I first heard about these, I was like, I don't know, I'll feel like an asshole if I say it, but I was kind of skeptical. Not like, not like they'd be bad. Just I'm like, they're labels. How good could they, yo, you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't understand until you try them. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at those colors on top of those vials. This is the labels I was using. And this is what a shimmer looks like on these labels. Like, oh my god. <sighs> this is um, Troublemaker Polar Lights, by the way. And that's Butterfly Dream. And this is... Here's we'll press adventuring. I hate that name, but yo, the, <laughs> these labels though, like actually kind of breathtaking. Um, I'm sorry for doubting you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel so bad about it now. Um, 
but like whatever you know you know i mean i'm i'm sure i'm not the only one but they're great and you should support fellow pen tubers they're super dope thank you dormouse for allowing us this experience we'll do i'll do that i don't i want to see it on the card first so this is um red with black pigment that mm, if that doesn't look like a bottle of fake blood I don't know what does actually <laughs> kind of looks like a bottle of real blood not gonna lie at least when it's in like a bottle I don't know about now Ooh, you guys. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is delightful. Oh my god. 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 Freaking out, man. I'm actually kind of freaking out. This is. Mm, mm, mm. Is delightful, but I have seen some people have like weird problems with it. That sucks. Oh, um, 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 okay, okay, uh huh. I see you. Yo. Oh, that looks so good when it's wet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, was I out of frame the whole time? I'm so sorry. This is so fucking cool. Yo! 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 Ah! No, I missed a spot. Hold on, I must adjust. Thank you. Anyway. No. This card needs to be perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't wait till that dries. That's gonna be so pretty. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh no. Oh. I'll die if that gets ruined. Oof. Whew. All right. And... Yo, that's so exciting. And uh, last, right? Last one. Streakway. If you don't know, a streakway is a creature in Romanian folklore. I guess Eastern European Transylvanian folklore. Um, a creature that very much acts the way a vampire does. It's very interesting. This is like a black, it's like an orange um, particle pigment. But this one needs to work. Oh. Should I just leave it? I don't think it matters that much. It's just a little bit. That settles fast. That fresh Pannonia bottle sound. I think these are the first Pannonia inks I'm trying. I don't think... Oh, that just fizzed like a cola. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Happy finding you. Love these spooky Halloween inks that they've done the last couple of years. Like, yes. Creepy nibs staple. This will absolutely make all of your nibs creepy. Oh, the dip was bigger than I thought, but oh no, it was way bigger than I thought. Okay, this is dark. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Okay. That is all of them swatched. And let these dry. Take a peeky pee, a little roundup. And it'll be a jolly old time. Oh my god, <laughs> that ink stained my brush orange. These pigments. That's fine. Needs a, needs a, needs a wash in anyway. Whoop. Happy fun. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we're back. All right, all of these are dry. At least all cards are. The Tomoe River still needs a few minutes, but all the Midori's dry too. Take a look at those. And I didn't get to gush about the boxes. It's got bats all over it. It doesn't even have the name. It doesn't even have the name. It's just, you know what it is from the bats and the dripping Pannonia logo. Bats inside. That's what it looks like on that dormouse label. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I need to actually start to speak properly. I, think I bumped the mic a bunch last time. Bad idea. Look at that. Look at that. The bats. It's got bats. They're all flying. They're having a good time. They're like, wee. Hell yeah. And then this one also does not have the name on it. It's difficult to clean. Contains micro pigments. Warning there. That dripping Pannonia logo. Fucking monster teeth. This box has monster teeth. Hello, welcome to Creepy Nibs. <laughs> um, anyway. And then I think those are also creepy mouths. I thought they were like some kind of bugs. I was like, what? But no, they're but that's teeth, that's gums, that's lips, that's a tongue, that's another tongue. That's um, very pointy. But like, yo, awesome, excellent bottle design. This ink looks really cool. It is incredibly cool. Um, and you're gonna see it. Are you kind of see it over there? You don't, you don't see it yet. I promise. Here we have Diamine Ink Vent 2021 Ash. Are we gonna have a problem? We're gonna have a problem. Should I zoom? Let me focus now. Babe, darling, my love, sweetheart, please be nice to me. For once in your life, is there too much going on behind me? The hall. Oh, oh, okay, now you'll do it. I understand. Look at that. Look at that. It's not as green when it's dry, but it's still kind of green. Um, it is, of course, showing up more green for you, because the camera hates you. You just gotta deal with that. Um, yeah, it's like this, but like that's also over here. And it's really pretty. It's really pretty gray. Next, another gray. I don't know why I'm bothering to show this to you. <laughs> this isn't what it looks like at all. Um, but it's very pretty. 
really nice gray with like it's got like the little hint of green down here I, I look like a crazy person pointing this out to you right now um but no it's yeah what you're seeing now is like what's underneath the gray that's like what it dual shades into but yeah <laughs> i can i'm not blind yet i swear we have Sailor Studio 252. This is really pretty. This is a gorgeous color. Yes. That's beautiful. Beautiful. This is a very this is a very Rebecca Logan ink. I think she really liked that. If she hasn't tried it already. Um Mont Blanc Spider Metamorphosis Web Gray. Here's the you see the little bits of purple in there? Can I? Oh. oh, that's better. That's better. A little bit of color temperature change at the end of the video. <laughs> but that's that's really pretty. That's a really pretty gray. They probably already have it. Oh, do I have oyster gray on hand? Which, it's not pen friend, no. Um, oh, I hope it's not in the stack of other cards. Here's it in color versus matter. Quite different. Matter is certainly warmer. Um, Oyster gray, oyster gray, oyster gray. Are you kidding me? Where are you? Ooh. Nope, never mind. <clears throat> My eyes lied to me. <gasps> Finally. Okay. Um. They're definitely not the same ink, <laughs> but they're very similar. Oyster gray seems to be a little bit deeper. Yeah, they look differently. Is that better? Is that better? I think that's better. Yeah. I'm trying to think about how to describe them properly, but I can't. But you can see. You can see they're different. Next. Swan Illusion Plume. This is beautiful. This is really nice. I'll show this next to Oyster Hour in a second. But that's really nice. And it actually looks like it's legible. Like you can, it's light, but it, you can totally read it. That is such a pretty color. Uh, fix the white balance. Whoa! Don't do that. Huh? Anyway, that's better. That's how it looks like. I'm viewing it on my monitor and in person at the same time. Really pretty. Um. Here is Oyster Hour. Definitely more yellow. This is certainly more like a gray brown. This has more color to it. There's a difference. Definitely is one. Um, I should find this before I remember that I need it. Okay. Well, I can't find the other thing I was looking for. But in case you're curious, this is what Ferris Wheel Press Cream of Earl used to be. Um, it is not that color. I cannot find the swatch I did of what it looks like now, but it's not pleasant. Um, very different. Completely different. Not even close. Closest thing I actually have, though, is a shimmer. It's a little more pink. It's Tono and Limsy Buki. Oh, they look a lot more similar in 
writing. This is a little more gray, a little more brown. But they kind of have the same vibe. This one has some beautiful gold shimmer. I love this ink. It's fabulous. And yeah, next. Okay, I'll keep this out. <laughs> You know how pale cream of earl is. <laughs> now you see how pale this is. But look at that pigment. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. This is definitely not a writing ink. This is certainly an arting ink. Can we get it in the lettering? We're overexposed. Chill. Chill. I'm down. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. I might get a little bit of it there, but... Oh, there's some there. <clears throat> it's like really wet. Yo! That's super cool! That is super cool. Um, this is also incredibly light, but it's purple toned instead of brown. It does the same thing. Yeah, all that pigment around the wettest parts. Um, spoilers for Anthraclia, but it's kind of got the same dealio. Oh, yo, look at that. Look at that. I love the way I can see the paper fibers. Oh, there's a little bit over there. Yo. Yo, that's pretty. In case you're curious, here's a little Rubinia, so you can see that they are not at all close. And a little bit of Rubinia is more legible. But that's cool. That's cool. Lucifer's dope. Love that. Uh, here's Colorverse. Rising Reflections. Did I not top my eyes? Did I miss one? I missed one. Whatever. Bam. Look at that. Look at that gold and orangey color. It's like an orangey gold. Look at that beautiful shimmer. Can't really see it change colors on camera. Oh, a little bit. Up at the top here, you see how it goes green? This is a really beautiful, fine shimmer. Oh, it catches the light down. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. It is very pretty. We don't really... Get a little bit of it in uh, that writing up there. Yo, that's so pretty! That's so pretty. Do I have Cavese honey on hand? One moment, please. This is Diamine Golden Brown. <coughs> Definitely more brown. Not quite as golden. Uh... Ooh, is it you? Are you the one? Yo, no, definitely don't want to show you that one. Gross. Ew. Boo, I cannot find my honey swatch. That sucks. But, <coughs> from what I remember, they're pretty close, except that they've got a really pretty shimmer. And I'm like, mm, it's spot. <sighs> Or blood moon. Gorgeous. Oh my god. I was just looking through cards. Why didn't I pull out writer's block? Cool. Found it. Cool. Cool. Okay, now they look similar. But you can see the right ooh, ooh, tripod. Tri tripod, please try. Writer pod. Writer's blood is a little bit more purple. The difference is a bit more intense in person. I think you can see a little bit more down there. They look really close, but this leans a little bit more red. It's almost brown, kind of. <coughs> um, that it, it just it crosses that threshold for me. Yeah, 
Blood Moon has a little bit of sheen here. If you can see it, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Do you love me? Dude. Honey, sweetie. What are we doing? Oh my god. Is that too close? What is happening? Are you kidding me? Ugh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, super... Oh, I really like this. I really like that. That's super good. It's like what people think dried blood looks like. <clears throat> but dried blood doesn't have as much color. What are you doing? <clears throat> Sorry, like half my videos are just me yelling at the camera. That's so good. It's so good. It's a deep dark red. Very nice. I should have pulled out a die my deep dark red. But whatever. I don't feel like looking through all those cards again. Whoop. <gasps> this is one of the coolest inks that I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. Um, yo, that looks so cool. That is so cool. My goth heart is like exploding right now. It is a treat. This is incredible. Oh, you can all in the writing wherever like the the end of the line was. Uh huh. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. It's definitely a warmer red. But I was afraid it would be orange, um, but it doesn't look orange on the card. And that writing with a dip pen, it's kind of orangey. It's like the way ancient copper like a red most of the time look at that does that come off no well not that i notice i didn't rub it too hard i want to get rid of it but like holy shit oh my god i love this oh my god i love this amanda you're incredible oh look at that down there i'm just gonna just ogle at this swatch card all day that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. And here we have Strigoi. See that? It looks matte. It looks like matte black with like an orange kind of cast to it. But that's just matte orange pigment on the black. Is that better? Ooh. It, it's darker in person, but like, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. It's not speckly like the pigment in this one. It's very like even and flat um, in these wetter parts. Here you don't really get any. But like, yo, yo. Holy crap. That is so cool. That is so cool. Th that Come on. That is so cool. Look at these. Look at these. Look at that. Look at how cool is that? How cool is that? Amazing job, Pannonia. I am flabbergasted. These are so good. That's, come on. You can't, you can't even argue. You can't. That, that looks sick. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. Here we've got our Midori MD cotton that I believe is fully dry. It better be by now. <laughs> Ash Armadillo, 252, web gray. Oh, you can really see that, like, dual shades pink. Like, pink. Yeah, well, yeah, like purple and green. Um, you can actually see that. That's what it looks like in real life. That's really cool. And the Swan Illusion. That thinner part looks like gray, and then that brown really hits. And then, this is Uriel. Uriel? Look at that. It does that really awesome pigment thing. That's so cool. That is so cool. Those bananas. I wish it was more legible, but I don't care. And this is dope. This is so dope. They do the Pannonia thing. And this is Lucifer. It kind of looks purple, but it also looks very gray. It's very gray. It doesn't have a lot of color to it. 
very, you know, there we go. That's the, oh, I didn't go over this one. Look at those halos. Look at that. Look at what that does. Look at that. And then when the shimmer hits, that is fantastic. That is absolutely spectacular. That is, oh my God. Yes. This is breathtaking. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Um, 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 it's really pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, stop ogling that. <coughs> Here we have the last three. And the bigger swatches. We'll drop it in street light. And I didn't really get quite as much pigment in the Draculia, but you can still you can see all that base color. It's very kind of orange leaning red. It's really pretty. And look at that sheen on Blood Moon. And I said Moon Blood. That's a completely different thing. There's shimmer in there from the. Did I really use that same brush for these two? Shame, shame. It doesn't have shimmer, it's just residual glitter. <laughs> I said that like a robot. So, uh, there's the Vagolia. And we saw this is three going. It looks like it's got a little bit of sheen there. But that like, mmm, it's like matte, but then in like the most matte parts, it's orange. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. I can't deal. I mean, I have to because it's my house, but I really cannot deal. Um, oh, Toma River's not dry yet. But in case you want to see. Very pretty. It's very pretty. And all that sheen on Draculia. All that sheen on Blood Moon. Oh my god, and that sheen in Strigoi, that looks amazing. These are absolutely breathtaking swatches. Now, I know, I know, and nobody has to say it, but I'm doing these swatches with a brush. I'm not super concerned about what exactly they'll look like on a pen. I'm just trying to tell the ink to give me all you got. Show me, show me what you can do in mass quantities. And we have seen that today. Hell yeah, happy fun. Um, before I go, got a little bit of, um, sneaky peeky pen porn, in case anybody's interested. Look, this is a Ranga. Uh, oh, I don't remember the name now. It's like a C4N, one C4. Fuck. I'm, <laughs> I, know, I don't remember, but it's in the ice mocha finish, which is essentially the same acrylic used in my absolute favorite babies. These pen BBS Nangaos. Beautiful. Fits right in. This currently has a medium yellow nib. It looks like it's going to be really wet. Um, so I'm, I'm hyped to try that. I don't know what I want to put in it. Um, perhaps one of these. Um, it's got like a flare up there. This step down is a little sharp. I might want to sand that down a little bit. But it looks seamless when it's closed. So that's really dope. This is beautiful. Thank you so much, Dean. It is. It was a necessary addition to the collection. Um, and I have this, which I haven't taken out of the box yet because first impressions have got to happen. Um, can't reach any of the other stuff without knocking over everything right now. So you're gonna have to wait on that. But the piece de resistance. Okay. 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 So I made a. I made a new anonymous pen effector. So this this is the pen that I've had. This is a new nib. You see that? You see that, right? You see that? Not only is this a 14 karat gold Franklin Christoph Flex nib, but it has a fine sig nib ground by the Jim Rouse, who is unfortunately no longer with us. And I wish I could have met that man someday. You cannot read stories about people's experiences with him and not cry. 
You can't do it. You just can't do it. He seemed like he was an expert nibmeister, but his really, his real talent was making people smile. Uh, anyway. But yes, I am beyond, beyond about having that nib in my possession. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm going to explode when I write with it. Um, I think I'm going to ink it with Blood Moon. I feel like that's going to be really fun. Um, <clears throat> um, but yeah. Oh my god. And then she was like, if you want to sell it, you can... I'll, I'll, like, send you the certificate of authenticity. And I'm like, what? What? Are you insane? Who? What? What? They can pry it from my cold, dead, ink-stained fingers. Um, but no, that's super dope. Really awesome. Rare piece of history. Ooh! Exciting. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Can't wait to do videos on. <gasps> That's it. Yep. Thank you for watching. That was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. I love you. Punch Nazis. Goodbye.